Item two, discussion of renaming Navarre Park to Navarre Memorial Park. Commissioner Williamson, you want to take that? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The question is pretty straightforward. Uh, motivation behind this is discussed in the uh, discussion item is laid out in the email that's uh, provided in uh, your backup. Uh, met with leadership Santa Rosa Class 29, the group that's coordinating the Black Hawk Memorial Project a little more than two weeks ago and let them know that I wanted to add this uh, to the agenda for discussion today and uh, everyone that was in attendance at that meeting was in support of the project and viewed it uh, favorably. Uh, to date we have received two emails in opposition and um, another email in support and um, so I'll open it up for discussion. Commissioner J. Williams. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I mean, generally renaming of parks or different things are community driven or have you, is this something that was driven from the community or how did, how did you come about the renaming of the park? I think um, much like what happens in uh, each respective district's commissioner's district, um, there are decisions that you try to make that are consistent with and aligned with the residents of the district that you serve. Um, now, I did provide a survey when I was first elected to ask what the goals would be to where I know would better to focus my efforts, um, but uh, this was not made part of that. This really just came about as what I viewed as a natural progression of what the use of the park is now and um, seeing that there are memorial parks as they are named all over the place. So I really just thought it was, uh, like I said, just a natural progression. Um, wish I could say that I put a lot more um, Anyway, that's, that's the best I can explain how it came about. I explained it in the email. I said, I, I don't know how much interest there is in this overall, considering we've had three total emails on the subject to date. Anything else for the board? Mike, come on up. And I would remind everyone, if you, uh, if you wish to speak today, please fill out a speaker's form and return it to the clerk's table before you leave. Good morning. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Good morning. Mike Sandler, 1905 Williams Creek Drive, Navarre, Florida. Uh, today I'm here on behalf of the Navarre Chamber Foundation. Although Navarre Park currently has several memorials within and another planned in the near future, uh, the park should not be defined as a memorial park. On any given day, especially in nice weather, there are hundreds of kids running around in the play areas, individuals exercising along the fitness path, and the basketball court, obviously, uh, concerts, birthdays, and celebratory events in the pavilions on, on the weekends mostly, or in the summer. Um, the park is currently scheduled for some major recreational improvements also. Designating the, uh, you know, a memorial park gives the entire park kind of a somber tone and usually not something associated with, you know, with that fun environment of the, of the park. Uh, the, the Navarre Chamber Foundation has a vested interest in the park and has for many years. I don't know if you're aware of it or you remember, some of you may. Um, the Navarre Chamber Foundation has made 100, over $180,000 worth of improvements into that park. So we kind of have a vested interest. We're there, we have people there, we have volunteers there in the park. Uh, pretty much on a, on a weekly basis, somebody's in the park doing something, or even, you know, daily. So the Navarre Chamber Foundation does not feel a, a name change is appropriate. Anyway, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Okay. Any questions for Mike? Commissioner Jerry Williams? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Sandler, has the Navarre Chamber Foundation taken an official vote on this? I mean, the, the foundation has. The, uh, it has not come about to the attention of the Chamber of Commerce. 
Okay. But the foundation board has voted on it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Cole. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I, I agree with that. I'm, you know, this is, a, you know, something each of us have uh, respect for each other on when it comes to our parks and stuff. But I agree that the, I, I love the memorial, the idea of uh, the memorial to the Black Hawk down there and what other memorials you may have. But I agree with Mike that it, naming it a memorial park gives it a peaceful, somber attitude that certainly with a splash pad you're not going to have on a hot summer day. So I, I, I would like to see it stay as it is, but certainly would support any memorials that are put in the park. So. Commissioner Salter. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I agree. Uh, I really respect Commissioner Williamson for, for what he's trying to do. And uh, above all, everybody else, I truly appreciate memorials and the men and women who have served our country. We have the Santa Rosa Veterans Memorial is specifically uh, is for veterans and veterans' families. Same thing in Pensacola Veterans Memorial, pretty much for uh, Wall South, different monuments. Uh, I would certainly support the area where the Black Hawk Memorial is going to go in as Black Hawk Memorial, but I'd rather see the park stay the same or as is. Any other questions, comments from the board? Commissioner Rob Williams. Thanks. And whether or not uh, we add the word memorial to the park or not, it's not going to change the ongoing efforts to convert that park to what will be a world-class facility. But um, given the comments of the board, uh, before I uh, pull the item to not move it forward for Thursday, I would like to say that the kids playing in the playground area are playing in the Duncan Memorial Children's Park, as it's named. Uh, there is an existing memorial in the park. Uh, there was also a Veterans Memorial Nature Walk that was uh, brought online, I believe, in 2010 or 2012. We uh, know about the uh, Black Hawk Memorial that's going to be coming online. Uh, two of the most well-attended events that we have every year are the Veterans Day event and the Memorial Day event. Um, I don't believe it strikes a somber tone. I believe it's who we are. And I think we should be looking at naming every park a memorial park. But and I think uh, I just might add that uh, March 10th of last year had a significant impact on me and on thousands of my neighbors and South Santa Rosa County residents and Santa Rosa County residents in general, you know, participating in a evening candlelit rendition of Amazing Grace out at the end of the pier, um, seeing how the community supports our military. Uh, I don't know that, um, said I, I don't know that it strikes a somber tone. I think it's important that we look for any opportunity to send a message that we appreciate, respect, uh, men and women of our armed forces and that um, they're such an integral part of this community and what might happen with another parent and their child um, might happen, what happened with mine, with my son asked me uh, what a memorial was, what a memorial means. And that gave me the opportunity to let him know that the reason we have the opportunity to come and go as we please in this country is because of the sacrifice of others. So I know that we care deeply about that, um, but I certainly want to be respectful of the comments that are here, and I don't want to do anything that would um, strike a somber tone. And obviously, since that's been brought up by two members of the community thus far and um, echoed here by the sentiment of those on the board, especially um, Commissioner Salter, as I said, I will uh, pull the item and uh, not move it forward for Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Happy New Year. I haven't seen you since the start. 7375 Olympia Street, Yvonne Harper. Um, I would like to say that, that I would love to have a memorial park, um, some, something similar to the San Rosa County veterans. I know that on Veterans Day and Memorial Day, I take my um, children to that, and it is 
such a great opportunity to reflect upon the history of our nation and the sacrifices made from the beginning. And I'm not opposed. Um, I don't. I I understand what you're doing, Mr. Commissioner Williamson. But I think it would be better to designate some area in the VAR, you know, for that for that specific um, reason. And I would definitely support that 100%. So, although I, I as a veteran, and um, I appreciate the sentiment, but I think it would be nice to have something. I mean, a, a designated park similar to what is in Milton. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll just say, I, th I think <clears throat> I understand where Commissioner Rob Williams come, is coming from on this. I, I, I understand uh, Mike and the, and the Chamber Foundation, your position, all the, the uh, sentiments of the board. I, w I would encourage you to work with the, uh, the Chamber Foundation, the other interested parties down there, and, and get some buy-in on, on the park. Um, and I know you've, you've worked with them extensively. You've, you've, you've got a lot of improvements. Uh, in the pipeline. You've made a lot of improvements to the ballpark down there. Um, but Navarre Park is kind of generic. And, it, it, you know, maybe they can come up with, uh, with some appropriate naming uh, for, the, for the, uh, the park down there to just indicate the significance of that park to the community, um, whether it's from the memorial aspect um, or the community aspect and, the, and the, the number, sheer number of people that get drawn to that uh, park, whether it's a Thursday night or a Saturday morning. Thanks, and, and just briefly, that was the, the vision, was that uh, there would be um, signage uh, respective of the different branches of the military throughout the park, and that that would kind of be the theme. Um, but uh, in next month, you will see some pretty extensive bringing together of all the ideas that have been batted about from all the grant applications, some awarded and some not, and uh, kind of uh, bringing together um, what the plan would be on uh, the improvements to that park. Thank you for your comments. Thank you. All right, so no action on Thursday for item two.